So today I want to talk to you about some online business myths that may be tripping you up from building your six figure business online. So today I want to talk to you about some online business myths that may be tripping you up from building your six figure business online. So some of the myths out there in order for you to be successful online, or at least start and launch your six figure business is that you have to have a huge email list. You have to have a huge social following. You have to have a fancy sales page, or you have to have really, um, extravagant funnels built out for you. You have to have an automation uh, system. Uh, what else? You have to, you know, create all this content in advance, right? So when you're building out your program, you have to spend months and months recording content and coming up with all these checklists and PDFs and all these other things. And you have to have money for Facebook ads or some kind of ad budget. And these are all myths. And I just wanna bust through some of these myths for you. If you're watching this and you're frustrated with growing your spiritual business, and then I'm gonna share with you what is required of you. Okay, so first off, you don't need a large email list. I've launched um, multiple five-figure business with no launch. You also don't need a launch even. Um, not one person that bought um, during pre-sale alone where I brought in over $10,000. Not one person was from my list. Um, I didn't use Facebook ads. My list is actually really small. Um, and uh, what else? No Facebook ads. I didn't create any content in advance until well after I had already brought in f at least five figures, over five figures during pre-sale. So I wasn't bogged down with um, creating the program long in advance before generating revenue. What else? I didn't have a fancy sales page. I didn't have a sales page period when I launched my program and went into pre-sale. So these are all myths. You don't have to have any of those things to start and launch a six figure business online, but here's what you do need. You do need to get really clear on your soulmate client and who that is and really know who you're here to serve. And I mean really clear. And I can say the, the clients that I work with in Sacred Leader Academy, they spend the most amount of time on this module. This is the first module that I, I, I walk you through. And even the ones that showed up that already thought they had a good handle on who it was that they were here to serve and what their soulmate client really, really needs from them are it's completely shifted and be, and has um, become even more specific and really even more clear. And this is a huge piece that if you're skipping over this piece, then you're gonna cause a lot of frustration in your business. And I've been there, done that. So I can share with you, it's a really expensive mistake. It's a really expensive little lesson to learn if you go down that road of creating your business or a program or an offer and building out all these things until you have crystal clear clarity on who it is that you're here to serve. I refer to this as your soulmate client. The other thing that you're really, really gonna need is to, um, show up authentically and consistently online to create visibility and trust and highlight yourself as an authority in your niche. And this includes sharing your story and your own transformation. And a lot of the spiritual entrepreneurs, when they find me, they are hiding in some way or playing small in some way and not showing up online and not getting visible with their gift or their message or their story. So that's another big piece. Another thing that you must do is you must be able to create magnetic content online. And what does that mean? It doesn't mean that it's necessarily gonna be the content that blows up and goes viral, although it could. But what I mean by magnetic content is it's gonna call in your soulmate clients and it's gonna resonate with your soulmate clients. 
I have posts on my Instagram that only got like 12 likes, but have made me thousands and thousands of dollars off of one post. So it's not about popularity. It's about resonating with who you really are here to serve. So you want to be creating magnetic content online that really calls in your soulmate client and speaks to that person. And so you can see that if you don't even have super clear clarity around that, then your messaging is not is not either and it's going to fall flat and you're not going to be attracting in your soulmate client. And then that causes a whole spiraling effect when it comes to sales calls and and think generating revenue and things like that because if you're not calling in your soulmate client, then your sales calls are going to feel really difficult um, or be obsolete because um, your business is always going to be reflecting back to you what you have going on um, as far as alignment, alignment within yourself and alignment with who you're here to serve and your mission. So another key component that you're going to need um, in addition to creating the magnetic content online, sharing your story and all of that is part of that. The other part of that is opening up to the downloads and the divine guidance that you're receiving. So this is what I call multi-dimensional marketing. This is unique to light workers, teachers, healers, and spiritual coaches and messengers. Although we all have access to this, everybody on the planet has access to divine intelligence, but this is not a marketing strategy that most people are going to be able to use because they're not tuned in and tapped into their intuitions. So they're not receiving the same amount of guidance. However, my clients, the soul make, uh, the um, my soulmate clients are the light workers, teachers, and healers. I am a light worker myself, you know, um, and so I get that. I get what it's like to be open and receiving the downloads and the divine guidance and the wisdom that wants to come to you and through you um, as a messenger, as a way shower, as um, a spiritual catalyst in people's lives and you have to be able to trust what's coming through and take action sacred action on the divine guidance that's coming through and this is key this is the other piece of magnetizing your message online in addition to um, you know owning your story and sharing authentically and, and things like that but this is this is something unique that not a, a lot of other coaches are, are, are teaching their clients, right, on how to really open up and own this process of channeling to really magnetize your message online and really align with that high priestess path of um, committed to your calling and opening up to be a channel and a vessel of divine service. So the other thing, component that you're gonna need is how to really master the sales process. Now, the sales process does not have to feel icky or hard or heavy or like effort. And if it does, it means something's out of alignment in your business thing. And it could be any of the components that I just talked about, especially your own energy. So whether it's your money mindset or whether it's a block to receiving or whether it's, you know, you're equating spirituality and success or spirituality and money and you see them as different and separate. So those are all potential blocks to your sales process. Um, but also um, not just not being in energetic, that energetic alignment from the beginning, from the get go. And all the pieces of your business have to be in energetic alignment. That's when you're going to be able to show up on sales calls and they won't feel like a sales call. They're just going to feel like a powerful conversation that just happens to lead to a sale because you will be calling in your soulmate clients and your offer will be completely aligned with not only you that and them, but also your lifestyle goals. So this is the other piece that has to come into alignment and this is your lifestyle goals. Your lifestyle goals have to support you in your mission work. You have to be able to hold space for others you know, as a teacher, healer, and light worker, you know this. You have to be able to hold space for others in order to do their own healing work. And uh, vibrationally, on a frequency level, what you bring to the table through resonance is going to be transferred to your clients. And so you owe it to yourself and your clients, or you're doing them a huge disservice and yourself a disservice if you're not making your well being and your lifestyle goals. A number one priority because you're not going to be able to show up the same energetically if you're burned out or overwhelmed and not honoring your own your own um, sacred space your own healthy boundaries and things like that so a wellness lifestyle a freedom-based wellness lifestyle i feel is essential 
in building your business because if that is not in place, you will not energetically be able to show up the same way. And in actuality, you will resent the clients that you do have if you're burned out and overwhelmed. And that's not a place that you want to be. Now, the other piece of the pie, which is a very strategic strategy, is you want to be able to scale. You want to make sure that you can offer um, your services to an unlimited amount of people and have an un uncapped income potential. So limitless opportunities when it comes to income and the amount of impact that you can make. This is something that I see a lot of light workers and teachers and healers don't grasp and they're trading dollars for hours and time for money and they are, um, you know, really burned out and overwhelmed. It's because their lifestyle goals are not in alignment with their program and their offerings. Um, and so that piece is completely taking their whole business out of alignment. And so that part is super, super key. Um, the other thing is you want to be able to outsource. And so you want to be able to outsource everything that is not your genius, everything that is not what it is um, that you enjoy doing that is really, you know, part of your zone of creative genius, right? So for me, I outsource everything that doesn't involve creation, right? So I do my own videos, I write my own posts, I don't outsource my copy. I would never outsource my copy. The copy that comes through comes from whatever divine inspiration is guiding me and that is not something that I can outsource and I see a lot of times people even selling courses and programs about someone else creating your copy for you and someone else creating you know templates for you so you know what to post no 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 this is not how you magnetize your message online by going to some cookie cutter framework that somebody else created so then you can create from that place of what someone else thought was good to come through that day for your calendar or for your plan. I actually teach to throw out all the plans, throw out the schedulers. You know, I unscheduled my, I, I got rid of all my scheduler systems. You know, um, I even, for, I forget the name of it, the one, you know, so I'm not even gonna bring it up because I forget the name of it, but I got rid of all those when I realized that they were really hindering my creative uh, insight and my d divine downloads and that when something was meant to be shared it was meant to be shared and it's not necessarily what needs to be shared next year and it's not necessarily what needs to be recirculated and shared again in three months it's what needs to be shared now and so when you sign up to be a channel and create a soul aligned business and allow yourself to be the vessel you know, there's certain things you're just not going to be able to outsource or put on autopilot. And I know a lot of coaches will disagree with me. And there may be a lot of coaches growing successful businesses doing that, but they're not growing your business. And I'm telling you as a spiritual teacher, healer, light worker, myself, as a divine channel um, that receives downloads and insights and inspirations, they need to be acted upon in the moment as much as possible not stuffed away in a journal and waiting forever until you can have time to come back to it, which is like what a lot of um, spiritual entrepreneurs do, but also not packaged um, up and then um, used in some sort of cookie cutter format. And you definitely can't be getting your content from some pre-packaged um, strategy planning thing that has nothing to do with your divine inspiration. So these are some of the main components and they're, there are more, but these are some of the things that you really want to master. Now, do you have to scale right away when you're starting? No, but you want to build yourself to scale. Do you need to outsource when you're starting? No, but you need to outsource immediately as soon as you can. And there's very easy, affordable ways to do that. But to start your business, to actually start a six figure business, you need about $90 to $100, $100 or less worth of like monthly software and access to some free social media platforms of your choice where you really feel comfortable showing up. You need to get out of your imposter syndrome and you need to put a few things in place that um, will allow you to launch by very, very minimal tech and you don't need to build out everything in advance. Actually, I would recommend you don't do that at all so that way you can build more intuitively as you go after you're already generating revenue. So this is what I wanted to share with you today. This is how I grew my own 
program, Sacred Leader Academy. So I've modeled my own method off of this program. And this is what I teach my students inside Sacred Leader Academy. If that's something that you're interested in, then go ahead and take a look at the Soul Line Success Masterclass below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And until next time, I look forward to tuning in with you on another episode very soon. But until next time, namaste.